Hi, this is Jeff Curto, and welcome to episode number 164 of Camera Position, the podcast about the creative side of photography. Let me share a quote with you, uh, and it starts off, The frame of the camera is the photographer's discipline. It can contain as much as it withholds, cut into or hold together images that detract or contribute to a given theme. Through it, lines, colors, form, and content area will be seen to be related to each other in a very special way. Each nuance is important in heightening or weakening a composition. There are both a visual and a literal way of seeing and thinking. Over hundreds of years, the literal has dominated the visual, until today our eyes are forced to see in terms of words. My plea is that, as far as possible, pictures should be allowed to speak their own language. Ancient cave paintings did just that before man devised an alphabet, and then, in a symbolic language, started to describe what the eye already understood well enough. With photography, a new language has been created. For the first time, we can express reality through reality. We can look into an impression or an expression for as long as we want, sink into it, and, so to speak, renew past experiences at will. Well, that is the great photographer Ernst Haas, quoted from his book In America, which he produced in 1975, a book of uh, extraordinarily beautiful and remarkable color photographs, Uh, Haas was uh, born in 1921, died 1986, and he was a photojournalist and a pioneering color photographer. And the, the thing that he really brought to photography was sort of narrowing that gap between photojournalism and the use of photography as a medium of expression, a medium of creativity. And so here he is talking about the frame as discipline. And notice that he doesn't say uh, the frame of the camera is a form of discipline. He says the frame of the camera is the photographer's discipline, meaning that what we put in the frame, how we decide to include or exclude stuff from the rest of the world into our frame of our cameras is the discipline that we have. It is, in fact, the the sort of elemental aspect of photography. And certainly uh, Haas is leaving out here some aspects of photography that are important relative to, oh, things like aperture and depth of field or shutter speed and motion and motion stopping or motion blurring. And of course, if you know Haas's work, and I'll include a a couple of links to uh, places where you can see uh, large quantities of Haas's work, including his estate website, um, and a link to the book that I just uh, quoted from as well. Um, But Uh, One of the things that I think you should think about here is that Haas is really saying that the elemental aspect, the essential aspect of photography is the frame. And sort of, I'm sort of looking back here to a couple of episodes ago of Camera Position where we talked about peripheral vision and about how we need to be aware in a sort of uh, spidey sense kind of way of the things that are going on around us in our periphery. But it is, in fact, what we put in the exact frame of the camera that counts for everything and counts for what it is that we choose to show the world. And that editing is something that I think in a lot of ways has uh, sadly kind of gone by the wayside in the digital era. Uh, That editing of the world with the frame is something that a lot of photographers now just, you know, keep shooting, knocking off as many pictures as possible, hoping that that one will be the one that will uh, capture the moment in a particular way. And uh, I know that many of those of you who are out there listening come from that school of thought that uh, that I belong to and uh, that I was raised in, which is that what we need to do as we put things in the frame is really edit 
before we press the shutter release button. Think through that discipline of the frame so that we have a better idea of what it is that exactly we're putting into the frame of the camera. So the next time you go to photograph, the next time you raise your camera to your eye, think about your frame as a discipline. Think about the way in which the photographer chooses to exclude or include what it is that they choose uh, in their images through that frame. It's about that time of the year when I am planning my uh, next year Italy photography workshops. If you are not already on the advance notice mailing list, I'll put a link to that list on uh, the camera position blog and also in the PDF that comes along with the app. Over the past couple of years, uh, my workshops have filled predominantly from the advance notice mailing list. So if you're interested in uh, joining me in Italy on one of my photo workshops, uh, you might want to avail yourself of that mailing list. And again, I'll put a link uh, right there in camera position, or you can go to uh, photographitaly.com and uh, check it out. Thanks for joining me, and I look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Camera Position, the podcast about the creative side of photography.